Well, hi folks, guess what? This is Gary and this is Tamara, Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking, and you know what? We're not down that sunny southwest anymore. We're up here in this kind of cool Wyoming. Looking forward to an exciting summer of new recipes to bring to you. So hang in there. Here's a good one. Tamara's going to tell you about it. Yes, you know, we're busy getting home, right into doing yard work, and we thought, you know, we're going to have a really hearty meal later on this afternoon. And what it's going to be is barbecued pulled pork on a bun. Doesn't that sound absolutely wonderful? We are going to sear this on both sides, then take away a lot of the heat and do a slow cooking on this. And this is a pork shoulder roast that I have trimmed a lot of the fat off, but there's still a little bit in there. And that just kind of helps with the flavor, right? Yes. And the calories, yes. <laughs> but we're going to have fun and a great day today. And thanks for joining us. You betcha. You know, what I love to use on pork is this Simply Marvelous Pecan Seasoning. And I'm going to generously rub this roast with it on all sides. And we do really like this one. This is where you got to get in and kind of work it into the meat. Oh boy, is this going to be wonderful. Oh boy. And I, you know, you put a fair amount on here. Don't, don't go skimpy. But then we are going to pull this, shred it, which that's going to be my husband's job. He loves to do that. And he does such a great job of it. Okay, that's pretty well on all sides here. Well, I missed a side. Get this a little bit here. Okay, that is all ready to go into our 12 inch Dutch oven we're doing today. Ah oh boy, that's looking good now. I tell you, you, got a nice sear on that side and we're working on the rest. Yeah, I was gonna tell you, I can always tell that we're in Wyoming. When just at daybreak, Tam jumps out of bed, throws some clothes on, grabs her shoes, slapping them out the door, trying to run a herd of deer out of her flower bed. It's a way to wake up, I tell you. One of these days, I hope I'm quick enough to get a shot of that for you so you could see just how fun it is. My goodness, our wonderful roast got done. Remember I told you we were gonna do low and slow so we've been doing yard work all day while this is cooking. And when I say low and slow, probably 250 to 300, don't you suppose? Yep. With the lid on, and we kept adding more wood to our little fire going on over here. And now we're gonna go ahead, we've already started doing this, but we take two forks and we pull it. I guess that's where you call it pulled pork. And my husband has been helping me do this and I'm gonna let him show you how to do it. All righty. I think they can see it. Get on with this so that we can have something to eat. Are you starving? Oh man, you've been slaving me out there. Yeah, I'm starving too, I have to admit it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it in a bowl here and put some of our favorite barbecue sauce on it. We sure hope you're enjoying this with us today. We would love it if you would subscribe, hit that like button, and leave a comment. Oh my goodness, do we love comments and give us some feedback. Share with your family and friends. Your enemies too if you want to, but most of us don't have enemies, do we? No. We're, we're loved to pieces. Especially when you're serving them this good food. Yeah, we don't have any enemies in this lifestyle, I'll tell you. They're hanging around just waiting for us. We're lucky we don't have a grizzly bear with us today, but you know it's springtime and they're doing other things besides hanging around with us. Right? Yeah, just so darn deer. Yes, we do have a deer problem. Oh boy, does this look good. As my husband's pulling this apart, he's picking out, cause you know, I, was, I cut off a lot of the fat, but there was still some marbled in there. So he's pulling out the fat and putting it to the side. 
Okay, we got all that wonderful pork all pulled apart here and shredded. My husband did a wonderful job. And what I'm doing here is putting on our favorite barbecue sauce. It is head country barbecue sauce, and it comes in several different flavors. This is just the original. And you can put on as much as you want, but, you know, I'm going to put a fair amount on here because there's quite a bit of meat here. So probably about half of this bottle. You know, I wanted to tell you also that we have a website. It's wyomingdutchovencooking.com. If you go to that website, you can order like the Head Country barbecue sauce, different kinds of seasonings and things we love to use, some different cookware. And if you do order anything, what that does is it just gives us a little kickback helps us with the cost of all of these wonderful things that we're putting together for you. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more. My husband and I both really love barbecue sauce. And don't forget, you can always add a little more on top. Oh yeah, oh yes. You know, we're fortunate the wind is not taken off today. Usually whenever we have any of our cooking that we're doing, especially up here in Wyoming, we're dealing with some pretty strong winds. Okay, so that's mixed up fairly well. Then I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. And then we're going to eat this. Mm-hmm. I'm ready for that part. Okay, I'm going to put a generous amount on this. Oh my goodness. I bet you wished you were here to join us. Actually, we're inviting our neighbors like we always do. And, you know, down south what they like to do is they like to put a little bit of coleslaw on top. And at this point you can add more barbecue sauce if you want, but I'm thinking that's probably just quite a bit. And I've gone ahead and gotten some coleslaw mix here. I like to put it on mine, but my husband really doesn't like to. But, you know, whatever your preference is.